Oh yeah, Dragonite's gonna pick me up. Oh, watch this! Here it comes! Here it comes! No, I'm not going to lie to you folks. I kind of let him die. I could have gotten away from that. But I kind of want to recruit and train up some new characters. And like I said, his hero ability is nothing special. So he's not exactly a, what I would have called uh, A-team material. Now, Teresa here is what you would call B+. Plus maybe a minus she's got all the really good combat specializations that make her an excellent survivor and her fifth skill is good because cooking hey you can cook up stuff and get a morale and a health boost or is it stamina i can't quite remember and the only thing that's really wrong with her is her hero ability is 50 percent fighting xp once you max out a community, bonuses to XP really don't go that far. Now, she is, of course, very new. None of her specializations are maxed out, so I gotta go around killing things with a knife, which I'm not a big fan of. I wanna check up in that guard tower up there. There might be a hidden weapon cache. Grab and stab. That's the best way to take out one of those armored guys. Do not waste time swinging at them. Okay, there's quite a few of them. Oh, and this guy's getting in my way, so I can't. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is going to be one of those days, isn't it? They just come out of nowhere. The way Nightmare works is if you so much as make loud noises while combat is going on, more zombies will just spawn in. And even like silenced weapon or killing someone with a uh, melee attack is enough to draw nearby zombies. You gotta wait until you exhaust the respawn in the area because you'll kill a certain amount of zombies and then the game will just stop spawning them. So when you go to a nightmare zone, just realize every bit of position, every bit of territory you want to take, you're going to have to fight for. Okay. Is that a fatty ding dong down there? Yeah, it is. Hope you don't see me. Go in the back door. You now Marcos died on the way to doing this mission. Okay. I was a long way from home when it happened, and I've been trying to get back here ever since. Okay, what do you I want? I know my husband and my son are gone, but I need something, anything, to help remember them. About memories. You gonna send Please. me? Yeah. Can you help me find something to remember my sure. family by. Only because you're giving me XP or some kind of Thank reward. You. This really means a lot. In real life, I tell you to go From kick what I rocks. Hear, a lot of people were. Past stay in the past. By the reservoir in the early days. I'd go up there myself. But I'm not sure I'd want to see it with my own eyes. No, I'd go up there myself, but I'm a coward. You're moosey out there, breathing heavy. Like, oh, I smell the humans in there. Too fat to get in through the kitchen door, though. Oh, come on, have some food. Rock sack of food, please. That's it for this place, nope. I guess. Just 
stabity stabity. Now, I'm not a big fan of close combat weapons by themselves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to max out close combat with this one. And then I'm going to give her a blunt weapon. Hello. Yeah, like a really good one, like a Danforth Slugger or a Freedom Ringer. Something with a high knockdown so that when I get accosted by a group of zombies, I can just quickly knock down everyone. And then with my maxed out powerhouse in close combat, I could front grab a zombie and just do a quick execution on them without going through like the whole uh, execution animation. But I'm not there yet. I got to max out my powerhouse and it's at zero stars right now. Well, once that uh, gets taken care of, this character will be formidable. Okay, now let's go find, uh, what's his face is, uh, backpack. I really want that crossbow. Okay. He's around here somewhere. There, I see him on the map. It was kind of cool how he got ripped in two, but the zombie dropped him before it happened. But yeah, he's still ripped in two. He like exploded like a fist of the North Star character after Kenshiro punched him. Oh, jeez. Anyone free over there? We could use some help. You need to be very, very quiet. I'll take that gun as well that has an advanced suppressor on it. And I want the crossbow, want the knife, of course, and I want my grenades. And I'll come back for the rest later. Okay, now to get to my car. Uh-oh, Fatty saw me. Oh god, it's gonna happen again. My car's gonna get wrecked. Hmm. It's still drivable, but... Let's go find this lady, her memento. Now this is where you play the final mission in the original State of Decay. I think it is. It's been years since I've played this game. Oh, it's all the way down there. I, uh, I better start driving again. Never let a screamer live. You see one, kill them. They will just make your life a living hell otherwise. Especially on these later difficulties where they spawn other freaks if you let them scream. I'm starting to think this is a bad idea. I've almost arrived. Thank you. Two plague hearts and an infestation. I wonder if that's actually blood I'm tasting in the air. Oh God, Jesus! What? Where the fuck did they all come from? I'm exhausted. Oh jeez. Mama said there'd be days like this. There'd be days like this. My mama said. Yeah, get up on there. Get your breath. Always climb up on these. The only thing that can really hurt you at this point would be a juggernaut when he hits you with his fart punch. Barrels can't touch you. Uh, or bloaters if they get close enough. But 
I think you and I both know that you do not let a bloater get close enough to explode on you. Oh god, this is turning into a shit show. Where are all these helmet motherfuckers coming from? There we go. Bad time. Fire in the hole. I did not mean to do that. Oh, jeez. This is bad time city. Save me, Lord. Oh, God, now I'm on fire. Take care of this using the scientific method. I bet you Feral shows up. It's been a while since I've seen a Feral. What the hell, I'm having a hard enough time with fucking riot gear zombies. I got that one's helmet off. Thank God for that. Can't do it. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh fuck! This is the end for me. We Murray tastes really good. Oh fuck! I might have to like use my red talent, guys, when I come over here. This is. What we call in the business a shit show. Oh god, there's even more coming from the other way. Fuck. I don't want to waste any of my grenades on these guys. Because there's three play carts in this area and I need to take them out. I smell my ammo getting less and less and less. Time to reload. I'm down to my last magazine here. Okay. Oh, run! Get the hell out of here. Except, oh shit, I left my car. The other direction. I don't want to give up my survey car. Oh, there's the feral. I need to be careful. I really don't <coughs> Pardon me. Let me to edit, edit that cough out. I still haven't seen that feral yet. He's around here. Better believe it. Oh, God. There ain't a good end for this. Still waiting for that. As soon as I hop down, this feral is gonna fucking smell me. Oh yeah, let's get my health back. And that's why you have a person with the medicine skill in your community, because once they max out medicine, you can call in for medical advice and it will restore your health. Now, there's, of course, a radio cooldown for that. And the great thing is, Jayla, the medical lady on my team, 
has the hero ability that does the exact same thing, but with stamina. So she is an ultimately excellent character in all respects. And I will never risk her. She is too dear to me. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Second episode in a row, I have to run away. Oh, there's the feral. Second episode in a row, I gotta run away like a little scaredy cat. And here comes, here it is. Yep, car's on fire. I'm gonna name this episode Car Trouble. Or somebody call Triple A. Well, shit, there's a screamer, but I ain't got time for that. We got a gas station or a auto repair place. Let's see about getting me a toolkit. Come on, baby mama needs a new pair of shoes. Come on, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, and stop. Yes! Okay, we are back in business. Okay, hopefully they'll have a second one. Because... Uh -oh. Where are you going? Don't be shy. Hopefully they'll have a second one so I can fully repair my vehicle. Now I have a mod shop at home that I can... Oh! Western Straw Hat. That's not new, but uh, no more zeds. I'll take it. I'm calling that a win. Very rare that I get a piece of clothing anymore. Can't have room for that. Oh god, I wish I had room for that. Come on, give me one more, please. I guess. Oh yeah, but I'll take the rucksack. Okay, time to get this one home before she turns into a pumpkin. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe, everybody. I know I will.